And, and uh, there are some new bleak numbers tonight about the opioid crisis here in Connecticut, right? Unfortunately, yes. The numbers are out, and it's a revealing look at the number of suspected overdose cases in our state. We're learning how this new data is being used to save lives. News 8's Bob Wilson spent some time looking over the numbers. He joins us live in Hartford. Bob. Yeah, you know, and it's not just the numbers, it's the fact that they're now tracking them a lot more accurately, more real time, if you will. Matter of fact, the system is called Epicenter, and it was originally used by the state to track bioterrorism, and now they say they're tracking something that's terrorizing Connecticut as well, the numbers of overdoses in emergency rooms across the state. What do I think about these increased numbers? Um, uh, they're scary, they're frightening, it, it makes me mad. Connecticut now tracking opioid hospitalizations across the state, and the numbers are startling. In the first two months of 2018, there were more than 1,300 people hospitalized. Hear how the numbers break out statewide, and these are just the numbers for the top five counties that are leading the way. Dr. Craig Allen, medical director at Rushford, says the numbers, as ugly as they are, can be a huge tool in figuring out the opioid crisis. Now with this tracking system, Maybe we'll get an alert about uh, some new powerful opioid that we can then look for with our patients and um, try to intervene before it's too late. And another area where the numbers will really help out, juveniles tracking teenagers or adolescents and exactly where the opioids are coming from. They said by able to track the visits to the hospital and finding out more about that, they can determine exactly what's going on in the home. Once those opioids are in the home, they're available to that teenager or that teenager's friend or the kid down the street who happens to be over for an afternoon, and they're going through the medicine cabinets. Dr. Bill Zemsky at the Connecticut Children's Medical Center says the numbers are good to have along with the stories behind them. When looking at kids, they're more susceptible because they're more experimental than adults. And the research shows parents need to be more responsible with the opioid prescriptions. We got to keep those opioids either locked up or disposed of. When you're done with an opioid, get rid of it. It shouldn't be in your home any longer. And the numbers can be released monthly, and those are hospitalizations. Those aren't necessarily deaths. They're just people who were taken to the hospital for drug overdoses, and they say by looking at the numbers and the stories, they can pinpoint and start treatment in that area. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Hartford, News 8.